Alright guys, what's going on? It's Reefly here. You guys are watching The Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 5 And it is, uh, the final episode of the season No going back There is no going back after this episode So the last episode I thought was really good. It left you on a pretty big cliffhanger And, uh yeah, I think that just overall, each episode has progressively gotten better and better. Um, so we'll see if this can end off of a, of a bang. Um, you know, I've kind of been thinking throughout this whole... This, this whole season. And... I'm just trying to think of what they could be... What could match the ending of season one. Um... We're spo spoilers, spoilers. In case you didn't watch season one, um, <laughs> Lee died. <clears throat> I really can only think of like maybe like Clement if Clementine dies, then that's like about the biggest thing you could do. But I don't really know where, where else to go because I don't really feel all that connected to any of, any of the just the people who Clementine's hanging around with right now. I mean, there's, uh... Oh, God, what's his name? <laughs> I completely forgot his name. The guy who's who we know from season one. Um, I mean, we know him, but he... I don't know if it'd be that big of a deal if he died. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Let's just start it up, alright? We'll see how it goes. And we'll get a previous on. Previously on. Previously on The Walking Dead. There we go. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Draco! Put it in! Shoot it! We I'll do it! it. it. Drop it! Drop, Drop it! Drop it! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! I said don't move! Everybody be cool! That was actually not a great, uh, previously. Because that really did not tell us much. That's fine. That's fine. Just rewatch all my, all my videos again. A lot of shooting. And Clementine's dead now. Dang Russians. I get the baby. Hey! Oh, man. What happens if you didn't go for a baby? I didn't even see him out there. Good work, Clem. Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. Can't just 
sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us till he runs out of ammo. So quit talking about it and do it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. This don't have to get any worse than it already is. You can just go. And maybe you need to shut up. I kill every one of you. If I could just get over to that side of the wall, I could maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, all right? Just shoot over towards the woods. Hey, it'll give him something to think about. I'll, I'll try. Yeah? Well, okay. Good. Good. I just need the distraction. Okay? All right. On my go. I don't have a gun. Or do I? Go. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, he got me in the leg, but I think, I think it went straight through. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, that was the was leaving you. You get out here. Or I put a bullet in this kid's hand. Bold move, Kenny. Kenny, what are you doing? I'm ending this. Get out here! Right fucking now! This is my shield, Natasha! You beludak! On the back, my queen! Quit fighting! You think I'm bluffing? Get out here! Christa, excuse me! I'm going to look at this list of your body. Stop squirming, damn it! Oh, I know who it is, yep. That's really disturbing sound. Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Jesus Christ. That was, uh, that was intense. I thought, man, eh, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way, that didn't deserve it. Tried to pretend he was a walker, but it's different. I didn't think it would be. You saved us. Yeah. That's why I did it, but it felt wrong. You sure about this? As sure as I'm gonna be. Let's go. Blood and iron. She had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just... She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest easy. It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. 
Get out of the way! Whoa! What Kenny? You know? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us! Kenny, his his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. There is house, food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Are you sure there's a whole bunch of Russians back there? Why the hell would you help us, huh? I, I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? I'm sure you're real excited to have your girlfriend back. Don't blame her for what these people did. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest, I really think Kenny should just die. <laughs> because he's just too crazy now. I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... That's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. Wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is... Promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's Tell me about it. He's in a dark place. We got to keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. He's lost. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. I don't know, he doesn't really like me too much. Back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, it might be too late. I'm afraid of that too. But we still have to try. At least then we'll know for sure. Come on, slow pokes! I'm probably gonna be a lot. I'm probably not gonna talk too much, to be honest, during this whole episode. So don't expect a whole bunch of commentary. Just you know, slight remarks, one-liners. Wait up! Wait. We need to stop. No, no, I'm I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Kenny, come on! There's no need for that! He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you! I say stop. You'd best stop. If you know what's good for you. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. Why are you giving the baby to the guy who's going to talk to Kenny? That's a bad idea, my friend. Kenny's going to shoot him. With you guys. What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches, too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yes. They're just scared. That's when it happens. When they don't know what to do. <sighs> yeah, that makes sense to me. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. I don't know what he's sorry for. I don't know if I really want to know. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> don't worry. You're gonna be okay. No, lean up against a tree, bullet in my leg, but alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead, for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with, just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah, and for what? It don't make any sense. You can't blame yourself wasn't your fault. No. Not completely. I could have done more. And that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones. And I gotta live with it. Alright. This should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. I'm trying to guess how far this place is. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. Good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? I'm sure most of that'll come out with a little soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. I don't know if he'll let me. He may not. But you ought to try. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. You're gonna put that in his eye? Oh my god, it's gonna... It's, it's the worst thing in the world. Go on. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah, me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you uh, got there? Hey, AJ's cooler than Alvin I think Jr. I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier, to Bonnie. Can I change your bandages? You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be perfectly fine. So how's it look? 
It doesn't even look that bad. Are you going to be okay? Oh, I'll be fine, darling. Gonna take a lot more than a couple smacks with the radio to take me out. Man, we're getting creative with the controls. <laughs> What's gonna hurt? So, I'm guessing this is gonna be the shitty part. <sighs> so this is gonna hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. I accidentally punched him in the face while doing it. Oh god, I'm sorry, Kenny. Squirming. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Oh. Uh, sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. Man, is that smart? Maybe he won't need to be that tough by then. He'll grow up fast enough in all this. Yeah, you were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner, got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. It should be him. Carver's the one who did it. Not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. You should probably give him a new bandage. Okay. I she was holding up the old bandage, I thought, so all done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. This group is just the most... <laughs> like, we have a person shot who has a bullet in the knee, a person who can't have, is losing an eye, a guy whose ear is blown off, a crippled kid, a baby, a little girl, and two chicks who I guess are okay. Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. He doesn't speak much English. Yeah, no shit. Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit! No, it's at the house. There's still more work. Some more hours. Goddammit! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. No mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Look, I'll do whatever you guys want, okay? But I could use the rest. It'd be safer to rest in there, where there's a fence. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. It's totally gonna happen, yeah, too. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's alright, buddy. It's alright. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. Alright. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. Oh man, I'm not good with babies. No, that's all you. <laughs> oh my god. Wouldn't have guessed that it worked. Me neither. I think he likes you. Wow, he didn't even laugh. He just like, whoa, that was pretty creepy. I'm, right down I'm done. For you. That's a good sign. He's annoying. Okay, I won't be like that. Yeah. He is, isn't he? 
Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got him. No, he's my baby. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on over. It's safe. Arno's gonna do something because he was not happy with us killing his sister even though she was a zombie. Oh, he's hugging that post. Today's my birthday. How would you know? You don't even know what day it is. How can you tell? Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. How can you even tell? Been keeping track of the days. Been a few times I wasn't sure I'd see my next birthday. Well, you did it. Guess that's uh, worth celebrating. So, that makes you... What? 27? That's that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Well, you told us last year when it was your birthday. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Did get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and all it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time. You're carrying it around. You're wasting supplies, my lady. <laughs> no. Do you think that's a good idea, Clementine? After the day we've had, I think it's the best idea I've got. I'd agree with that. I think she's just saying to take it easy. Right. Party all night. A little guilty taking the first. Whoa, uh, wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the. Uh, Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way, and to the hope that we see them again, someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. She saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... I don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. She helped you in multiple ways, my friend. Oh. oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just... Wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Alright. All right, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. <laughs> we got a little one around. Sorry. Come on, you don't know what's going on. It's my fault for bringing it up. I know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, that, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now, the both of you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, funny.
maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. Neither do I, so... Well, I guess we learned something. <laughs> just yeah. stares at what's the that? fire. <laughs> Luke's a regular casting note. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the late. Worked on me. What? Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. What? They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Oh man, we're gonna get everybody drunk, even though it's a sip. What is this? Hover over it, dang it. Oh my god, that'd be so precise. At least we don't need to worry about being electrocuted. You just wait until there's zombies. And have electricity all over the place. I miss TV. It feels like forever since we had electricity. It's actually fairly recently, if you remember right. People too. We all have. Oh, okay. Quit crying, little baby. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? <clears throat> yep. I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. Probably been a while for everyone. Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's rum. Probably. Huh. Oh God. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to, you know. Because you made it with. Yeah. What, it actually says an option. Really <laughs> make it weird. Just be cool. Hang out. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? Want to sit? It's okay. I'm a kid. Uh, I'm a kid. Uh, okay then. Suit yourself. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. <laughs> God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea oh, to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. Wow, that's really stupid. Yeah, Clem. I was drunk. <laughs> the problem with glasses, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Got grounded for six months. Holy shit. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a long time. Well, 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 let just calm down here. A deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird.
Want to sit here? No. That's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wherever you like. Okay. I wish you could just, like, make... Uh... Clementine just take a sip whenever she wanted, just by pressing A or something. She's half drunk, walking to Kenny. Kenny, I, I I had too much. We gotta go. Kenny, you are gonna drink this. Some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there after Sarita was. I just. I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Katja's face. Anything in the world. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You're getting too attached. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watching on my own. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. I don't know if that was a good idea. Okay, I think I'll wrap it up for this part, so... I'm guessing the next part is probably going to be the last because I'm just going to record the rest of the episode. Um, but yeah. So I've been Reef, you guys are watching The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 5. No turning back. And you know how much of a pain that is to just name my video that? Let's play The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 5, No Turning Back, Part 1. And if I really want to, I could add, like, a title to that. Like, we're gonna go shoot stuff or something stupid for a title, you know. But that would just be, like, the longest freaking title ever. But So I don't do that. Okay, so I talked. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next part.